Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here with another match preview. This time it is Liverpool versus Brentford. This is the first game of the season in Anfield. That's going to be kicking off at about half past four on Sunday evening. I'll be here. I'll be live. I'll be watching it. Look out for this watch along thumbnail on YouTube and feel free to tune in. Of course, everybody is welcome. Get in there. I'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on during the match and feel free to get in the chat, have a conversation with me. I'm here to entertain and listen to your guys' opinions about football. So this is going to be a match preview. If you're new to the channel, what I do is I go through how I think the game is going to go. Then I'll give you a little um, score prediction. And then I also give you a lineup prediction, how I think we will line up come the day. So let's get into it. Right, so let's start with the match preview segment of the video. And just basically, I'm going to go through the head to head. I've got a few um, stats here from the last few games. Um, of course, Brentford are quite a tricky customer when they first came up to the Premier League. I think the first game we played them was a 3 3 draw. It was a very good game, end to end stuff. I remember being on the edge of my seat for it and it ended in a draw. It was, we were probably lucky to get the draw, but. They just always seem to be quite difficult. Now, last season, it's a different story. We sort of dominated them. We'd done the double over them. Um, the first game was actually in Anfield. That was on Sunday, the 12th of November. And we won 3-0. Salah scored twice. Jota scored another. We weren't really convincing. Um, and Brentford did have quite a few good chances. But we just took ours. And well, Alisson made a couple of really good saves in that game as well. And then in the other game last season... That was Saturday, the 17th of February. This was then at the GTEC um, Stadium, um, Brentford's ground. And that was a 4-1 win. And I remember this game. This is the game where Nunes scored that ridiculous chip, if you remember it. Um, Jota plays him through. And he's just lifted it over the keeper from the edge of the penalty area. Really well taken goal by Nunes. Um, and then also McAllister, Salah and Gakpo scored in that game. Tony scored for Brentford. And even in that game... It, it was more of a sense that Brentford were just not clicking, um, but obviously happy to do the double over them. It's It was a nice six points. They're off the back of a win against Crystal Palace. That was a 2-1 win on the first day of this season. Admittedly, they were quite lucky. Uh, Ezra's goal probably should have stood from that free kick, so whether that would have changed the game, whether it would have been a draw, maybe Crystal Palace kick on and get three points, I don't know. But Brentford with three points on the board, that's what they're looking for that's what they do they upset teams they frustrate teams and then they've got the likes of tony and burmo who are clinical goal scorers and they can damage teams and i'm expecting the exact same thing from them again against liverpool admittedly we do have the home crowd back at anfield and that is always an advantage so now let's get into my score prediction and yes I am going to go with a 3-1. I will never put Liverpool to lose in a prediction because they're my team. I want to see them win every game. I might put them at a draw if I feel that we're playing poorly or the opposition are, are, are better than us. So my prediction I've gone with is 3-1. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Get your predictions in or even during the live stream, get in there, get your predictions in. And we can discuss it. So now let's get into the lineup. And I'm going to throw it up here. And I've gone with pretty much the exact same as what Slot started with last uh, last game. Um, of course, Allison in between the sticks. For me, world's number one keeper. Robertson at left back. Trent at right back. Again, maybe not number one in the world in their positions, but they are definitely up there. They are absolutely important for Liverpool and everything down them down the wings when they go charging forward. Robertson with his aggression. Trent with his precision and his passing is just, you know, it's, it's second to none. Um, this is where I've made the change now at the centre-back pairing. Of course, Van Dijk starts. He's the captain. I think if he's fit, he's starting every game um, unless he does something horrible in training or takes an injury or something that Slot doesn't like, then he's going to be starting every game. And I've gone with Canate, and this is... Just because we've seen that substitution, I mean, of course, I do like Kwanzaa. I think he has got the capability of partnering Van Dijk. Slot saw that he was losing a couple of important duels 
um, against Delap, against Ipswich. So that's why he brought him off. And obviously it's nothing against the player. The whole team was losing um, important duels, but a few really important ones for Kwanzaa. So I think that that might influence Slot just to maybe drop him out. Um, also, Slot did mention in his press conference that he has picked up a little knock, I think, on Tuesday. So he didn't um, train on Wednesday. So that could also play into it. So that's why I've slotted in Kanate. But that's a good replacement, really, Kanate coming in. Then in the double pivot, I've got Gravenberg and McAllister. Of course, we've seen Gravenberg last game playing in that number six. For me, I did not like it the first half. Admittedly, the whole team was pretty poor in the first half. So that's understandable. But second half, Gravenberg was a completely different player. He sort of We sort of switched to a 4-3-3. He was playing the six, and he, he really turned on that second half. It was incredible. Um, and of course, McAllister, I've got him in there. He's going to start every game as well, as long as he's fit and there's no injuries or anything. Then into the middle three, I've got Saboslai in the middle. Of course, natural position for him. Diaz on the left, that's where we see him all the time. Salah on the right, that's where we see him all the time. And then I've got Jota up top because, like I said, don't try and fix what's not broken. And for me, uh, of course, you could bring Nunes in. It would be nice to see Nunes, see where he's at for this season. But I just think Jota will bag us goals. Salah as well. And they had their chance last week. They provided. So you can't really drop them. So it's going to be tough now for Gakpo and Nunes, for instance, to try and break into that. But of course, when the, the cups start, there'll be a bit of rotation. So then they will get their chances. And of course, players do get injured as well. So my lineup in full, that's Allison, Robertson, Van Dyke, Kanate, Trent, then McAllister, Gravenberg, then Diaz, Saboslai, Salah, and up top I've gone with Diogo Jota. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Get down below if you think I've made a mistake or if you think that I've got it pretty spot on. Let me know. Let's start a discussion. I'm happy to hear your guys' opinions. And yeah, like I said, tune in to the live stream. Everybody is welcome. And yeah, if you've got any predictions for the games, let me know as well. If you haven't already, please leave a like on the video. And if you really enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the season. I would really appreciate it if you whack that button. Thank you for watching. Up the fucking Reds.